Happy Hanukkah, everybody! I'm coming to you live, kind of, to show you what I'm cooking for the first night of Hanukkah. You can see me in my natural cooking attire. My hair is back, my makeup's running, I'm a mess. You can see my, catch, my kitchen, how I really cook. I'm a mess. <clears throat> so I'm frying up some latkes right now. You can get the recipe for the latkes on my blog. I have them for the air fryer. Um, for Hanukkah, though, we like to cook them on the stove in oil. It's a tradition for Hanukkah. It symbolizes the oil burning eight nights rather than just one night. But what I've cooked up earlier today is what we call Sistania, which are just jelly donuts. So you can see that I made these gorgeous jelly donuts earlier today. And I've got two different kinds that I've made. Uh, this one, of course, with the powdered sugar on the outside, is filled with a raspberry fig reduction. It's so good. The donuts are light and fluffy and just delicious. Then I've made some donuts like this, apple cinnamon, and they have an apple cinnamon reduction that I've scored into them. Aren't they beautiful? Everyone loves these donuts so much. They look forward to them every year. I even grind and make my own powdered sugar. Oh, yeah, Ed is shaking his head. He loves them. Yeah, now those are donuts. Those are donuts. So I even take regular sugar, put them in my Vitamix, and I make powdered sugar. I like to do everything homemade. Can you see this mess over here, too? Yes, they, yes, they can. <laughs> okay, good. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to make latkes. You can see I've made almost all of them. We've got some more over there for people to enjoy with the other donuts. So after you have grinded up, or shredded, I'm sorry, your potatoes and your onions, you want to get as much moisture and water out as possible. That's the trick. Your latkes should be crispy on the outside and the inside should be softer. Um, I used yellow onions and red onions this year just for color. So what I'm going to do is after that happens, I'm going to form them into a, probably, oh, I dropped some on the floor, into just a little round disc like thing and I'm going to put them in the hot oil just like that and I'm going to move into my ham show you in a second ah here's my towel got away from me again you can see quickly in the hot oil and once the outside gets nice and crisp we will flip it over and what else do I want to tell you? Oh, yeah, I want to know what you guys are cooking for Hanukkah. In the comments below, tell me if you're making uh, jelly donuts, Zuzgania, if you're making latkes, potato pancakes, what gifts you got. Brisket. Brisket, yes, our main course is brisket. It's been in the oven for a while. I made it with a delicious simis. Simis is... Um, Root vegetables. And uh, some fruit. It's really good. Some sweets. So it's kind of sweetish. That not sweetish. Sweet-ish. I S H. So that recipe is actually in my cookbook, my This Little Gal cookbook. Don't you mean sweetish, not Swedish? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> sweetish. It's sweet. So. Um, oh, also you'll notice when I take the latkes from the frying pan. This is something I grew up doing. We take a paper bag, open it up on the inside and the oil drips out. Jews have been doing it, all my Jewish friends, we've been doing it since forever. That's the only way I've ever done it. And of course, we eat latkes with sour cream and applesauce. I use both sour cream and applesauce. Ed just eats it with applesauce. I haven't been able to get him in all these years to try them mixed together. It's so delicious. I'm going to light the candles in a little bit, and I may do that on video too. But have a great holiday, everyone. Happy Hanukkah, and remember, tell me what you're cooking. See you later.